Hello, welcome to my English channel. This time, I'd like to discuss seven grammatical mistakes that most Indonesian students from primary up to senior high school level usually make when they learn English at school. Actually, there are a lot more grammatical mistakes than any of the mistakes that I'm going to talk about now, but it will be a long discussion then. At least, the seven grammatical mistakes here have already represented the most common mistakes in both written and spoken English. Okay, let's check it out. What are the grammatical mistakes? The first mistake. Most students tend to say, put the books in here. The word in here is of course grammatically wrong. The preposition in is redundant. Students don't have to use in. It's not needed. It's enough for them to say, put the books here. The second mistake. There is a sentence, I school at Talenta Primary School. Too often, students misinterpret between the word school and study. They think the two words are interchangeable, whereas in fact, the two words are of different meaning. The word school means an institution for educating students, and the word study can be a verb or a noun. If it is a noun, It means the activity of learning or gaining knowledge. If it is a verb, it means to devote time and attention to learn about a subject. In the case of a school at Talenta Primary School, the word school cannot occupy the verb position. So, students must say, I study at Talenta Primary School. Now we come to the third mistake, that is, I go to school with car. Again, it's a matter of improper preposition. Instead of using preposition with, students are supposed to say, I go to school by car. Now let's take a look at the fourth mistake, that is, let's join with us. Well, this mistake has something to do with misinterpretation. It's because our Indonesian framework of thinking usually applies the word-by-word -word translation. The Indonesian sentence is, Mari bergabung dengan kami. So, students translate Mari into let's, bergabung into join, dengan into with, kami into us. So, if they are combined, the translation says, Let's join with us, which is incorrect. In English, the preposition with is not needed if it is used with the verb join. Students should say, let's join us. Okay, now look closely at the following mistake. There is a question, where is your address? In this case, students misuse the question word where. Students should ask, what is your address? Or, where do you live? Now, what about mistake number six? There is a question, with what do you go to school? Pay attention to the underlined words. It's, it's a misuse of question words. Students should ask, How do you go to school? Okay, now we go to the seventh mistake. There is a sentence, I am boring. Well, quite often I come across this kind of mistake during my 12 years of teaching experience. It's actually not the correct way of saying that you lose interest in something or someone. You should say, I am bored. Okay, I think that's enough about the discussion on grammatical mistakes. Now, the question is, 
What should an English teacher do when his or her students make mistakes in learning English? Well, I'm speaking on behalf of all English teachers, especially in Indonesia. First, English teachers must understand that making mistakes is a natural part of learning English. If students never make mistakes, they will never learn. There are at least three things that English teachers must pay attention to when they are confronted with students who keep on making mistakes in learning English. First, teachers should make necessary corrections. When students make mistakes, teachers can directly correct the mistakes, but do not offer correct them. Just make necessary corrections. If teachers offer correct the students' mistakes, ideally, students can be less motivated to learn. They are reluctant to continue studying English. Second, instead of doing constant corrections to students, teachers can make small tests in which the test materials are taken from the students' own mistakes. I think it's a good way of remembering the mistakes and at the same time, Students hopefully can do their own self-correction. At last, teachers should encourage their students to do better next time by not making the same mistakes again. Now, what about students? What must students do? There are three important things that students need to take into consideration. First, students must learn from their own mistakes. Making mistakes is okay, but uh, yes, because it is inevitable in learning English. Treat your mistakes as the stepping stone to success. Knowing your own mistakes and learning from them will eventually lead to better improvement. The next step is to continue studying English in a way that students like. What does it mean? It means... Let students choose whatever learning method they like, as long as it is for the sake of their success in learning English. What teachers can do is to help facilitate students in learning English. Students can study in groups with their peers who are good at English. In this way, weaker students will feel comfortable to learn English. The last thing that students can do in their attempt to learn English is by practicing a lot. No matter how many mistakes students make, if they keep on learning, keep on practicing, someday their never-ending effort will pay off. Thank you for watching.